Hello, people of God. Thank you for joining us today. This is Open Heavens Daily Devotional Review, uh, reporting from Open Heavens International. And I want to bless God for the opportunity to be with you today. It's been a wonderful experience from the beginning of the month of March. And I know that you've been blessed. If today is your first time of joining us, we do this every day by the grace of God. And I know it's going to bless you tremendously. So please join us on a daily basis. Follow us on our social media handles at Open Heavens International and your life will be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. This is written by the grace of God, by the inspiration of God through our Father and Lord, Pastor E. E. Adeboe. And as you join us today, the Lord will bless you in the name of Jesus. Our topic today says God's master plans. God's master plans. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you because you are the unknowing God. You know the end right from the beginning. Thank you for the knowledge of your word. Thank you because you are the one who knows all about our lives. And that's why we have come to you, so that you can show us the next step, the next phase of our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Let this word bless everyone that will watch it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, precious Father, for in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Our text today is from the book of Genesis chapter 37, verse 23 to 28, and Genesis chapter 50, verse 19 to 20. Our memory verse is taken from the book of Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 and the Bible says, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not evil to give you an expected end. God's master plan. Have you taken some time to wonder, uh, is there anyone behind our coming into this world. What was even existing before we came? How was it like? How, how do people follow through everything and every phase that is happening in their life? You know, one of the things that helped us to even understand a bit, a glimpse into what that means, is when you have someone who has done a master plan of an estate, he knows where there will be the hospital or where we will put uh, the water, where we will put the car park and where people are going to live where the market will be. That same person have a overview of everything going on in that estate. The same way God has the master plan of our lives. But you know the problem today is that many of us try to figure it out on our own. Proverbs chapter 3 told us that we should not just try to figure everything out on our own, but we should kneel on him who is able to show us everything that we need to know. In our Bible text today, God showed us how he orchestrated certain things just to reach out to some certain set of people. And I'm going to share some with you today. If you look at the life of Esther, Esther was uh, more like a prisoner in a strange land. But in the midst of all of that, God needed to use her to rescue the people of God while returning them back to the promised land. However, he sent Esther ahead of the event that will happen becoming the king's wife. Who is the queen? Who could go into the king and convince the king, you know, to ask for something that was difficult, you know? And Mordecai said, when he, he was making a request to, uh, to Esther to say, go on our behalf to speak, he said, maybe this is why God has planted you here. God knew that that time is going to come. So he went ahead to make that plan available so that he can rescue his own people. Not just that, if you check the book of 1 Samuel chapter 17, there was something very interesting in that place. Remember that that man called Goliath was there making noise, terrorizing the people of God. God already prepared David. In fact, he had Riaza when he fought with the bear and the lion to give him confidence that he can go against this infidel man. Anybody could not stand that man. He constantly terrorizing the people of God every day. And one day, God showed up for them through David who came and, you know, and we, the rest is history. And he, he, he got that victory because God had that plan. Way even before David was born, he knew what he was doing. Now, not just that. One interesting one is in the book of Acts chapter 16, verse 9 to 40. Acts 16, verse 9 to 40. Remember Paul. Paul was going about preaching the gospel. But there was a family in the prison. That's one of the prisoners' head who loved God, but he could not get access to, to, to the gospel. And the Bible says in uh, Acts chapter 16 that 
Paul saw a vision that somebody is waiting for them in Macedonia. In his journey, he thought he was going to meet some people somewhere, but God was actually sending him to the prison. When he encountered that girl on their way, healed the girl, people came and said, why will you do that, this and all that? And they sent Paul to the prison. The agenda of God for Paul at that time was to go into the prison because that man would not come out. And he went ahead to preach the gospel to the man who got baptized and became one of the profound people that we talk about today. God has a master plan. I want to let you know that that which you are going through, God knows about everything. Oh, somebody is saying that, oh, what I'm going through is too painful. Is God, is God a caring God? Yes, he's a caring God. What is more important to note is that you must ask God constantly, what are you trying to teach me in this situation I'm going through? Why am I here? If God is with you, remember, he said, when you pass through waters and fire, I will be with you. When God is with you, nothing can overwhelm you. You will always overcome because his master plan for you. Remember our text today, our memory verse today says that uh, my thought towards you are for what? Are for good and great expected and you will overcome in the mighty name of Jesus. Trust God and obey whatever instruction he gives you. Once he tells you to go in a particular direction, obey him so he can, you can be a vessel unto honor in his hand. I want to pray for you that as you listen to God's instruction for your life, you will always overcome in the mighty name of Jesus. Maybe you are here and you are wondering, what is this young man telling me today? I don't even know God. Where should I start from? My message to you is that God has a master plan for you. He already prepared you to listen to this message today so that you can give your life to him. Because your starting point, your journey with him is you confessing your sin and telling the Lord that you want to be part of him going forward. You don't want to go in your own life and just living life meaninglessly because the grace of God is abound for you. His provision for you is salvation, which is sent Jesus to die on your behalf. So the sin you are committing now, God has already forgiven you. All you need to do is to come to him and say, Lord, I am sorry for the all those things I was doing. I was doing them in ignorance. Now I realize and I want to come to you. Please accept me. Forgive me of my sin. And from today, I promise you that I will not go back to my sin. Wash me with the blood of Jesus. Today, I confess I become your own. And please accept me. If you have just made that prayer, I want to congratulate you because your life has changed already. Now, you need to find a redeemed Christian church of God closer to you. Go to the pastor. Tell the pastor that you have just given your life to Christ. And he's going to tell you the next thing to do. As we go today, I want your prayer point to be, Father, please show me your plans and help me to walk in them successfully. God bless you.